All right, so we made it to day 19. Uh, Janice is here today, and I'm really excited. I felt a little bit of tension in the room, quite honestly, when she got here. Um, she made a post about how she was feeling yesterday evening in our uh, Facebook group, and I responded very directly. Uh, I wish that I would have screenshotted it, but I didn't. Uh, so, you know, part of that um, hard work and uncomfortable nature of what you feel like when you're uh, trying to lose weight, maybe setting in a little bit. We'll see how her attitude is today. I haven't really uh, talked with her uh, in depth, but we are going to hear from her today. So, uh, see what she's up to. Oh, you So we're here, uh, day 19, post-workout. Everybody's got a big smile on their face, sort of, <laughs> kind of. Um, so yeah, so I, I have this, today's the first day I've had this like weird tension, like, um, yeah. Um, so Janice wasn't here yesterday, made some weird post last night about people being able to lose weight some other way than you know, diet and exercise or, or something to that effect. And so, just being honest, I feel like, you know, most of the time in a major weight loss venture that involves uh, hard physical work, breaks people down and they start looking for ways to quit. Um, I've seen it, I've been doing this for six years, so I can kinda sense that, I hope that's not the case, but, you know, wouldn't be the first time if it is, so. Uh, Love all three of them, love Janice, love Robin, love Josh, but uh, I can't do the work for them, okay? That's, uh, I can be here, I can motivate, I can encourage, and I'm human, so I have emotions and I feel uh, what I feel, just like they feel what they feel, and anybody else that is uh, trying to do something great, trying to, trying to get fit, trying to, you know, put in, the work for all the lost work that got them where they're at, okay? Uh, it doesn't happen overnight, and you don't get fit overnight, and that's just a proof of fact. So, if you guys wanna expand on that at all, uh, I I'm, I'm, wanna hear from you, see what you guys got going through your head. Well, I'll go first. So I took it down because you told us to tell you how we felt. Yesterday was overwhelming. And I felt awful. Like I woke up roasting and I'm like, is it really worth it? You get to work and people are talking about how many pounds you're down and I know they're doing other ways. So yes, it is discouraging. But I didn't say I wasn't coming back. I just said I was overwhelmed. And yeah, you do think, well, is it really worth it? And could I finish this? And, and there's a lot going on, not just here. Like my life don't just stop at the gym. I wish it did, but it doesn't. And so at home, they eat what they want and you're just like, oh, I need to help. I need to do this for all these other things. Happening. Yes, yesterday was very fresh, frustrated. I feel like I came in today and I gave everything that I had. I've been given everything I had, and although this is, I've missed a day with you all, this is technically still my 19th workout. I've done the 10K, so I've been going and going and going and going, and I really think all of that just kind of caught up. It's just been endless, so that's what the post meant. And I didn't want to make a vlog out of it because I didn't want to discourage anyone else. That's why I put it in the group, and I don't know, is that group private? Is it just us or is it public? It is private. And that's why I put it there to say, well, this is how it's feeling today. I appreciated the video. I didn't want to create a post because I didn't want that to go public, especially because I put it that work is stressful. Like, I didn't want that to get out into the world. So, yeah, that's why I posted it. Mm. And that's why when you said that, I just took it down. Like, it wasn't meant to be a 
discouraging. I just said the accumulation of all of this is just, it, it yeah. is, it's overwhelming. So now it's public. <laughs> and no, it's good because this is a documentary about life and it's not about frills and fluff and all that. That's, that's why I wanted to do a year from the get-go because a year is a long time. It's not a it's not a short-term fix. So those types of things are going to come out. It just happened to come out from you the first time. Yeah. I'm sure Robin's got something in store for us. <coughs> so, you know, we'll Mom see where we're at. Mom always says, you don't have something nice to say, don't say it at all. Um, yeah, no, I, don't I, probably, think, I don't think I anybody's probably being won't. mean. I'm kidding. But I'm, le I'm less likely to say exactly how I feel because now I'm, a go I'm constantly going to be filtering. And that's really more my nature than anything. That's why I put it there in the Facebook group and not like in a messenger. Because Jim wasn't Jim wasn't here. And like, you don't want to discourage him and he's there. And I know I would see, I knew I was coming today. I knew I would see y'all. Yeah, you're coming. It frustrated me. And I was like, well, now I probably won't say exactly how I'm feeling. I'll just get through the day. And I have a group of people that I can talk to that's not the workout group, but I want it to be very transparent because that's hard. People are like, oh, okay, 15 pound weight loss. And I'm not talking about y'all or even Jim. I'm talking about at my job and you know they're not doing the work. And here I am, the scale loses four and I've been trending up ever since. That's hard, no matter how we look at it. It is, it's hard, I'm going on and on because today or yesterday I was frustrated and I was just like, is this worth it? Like, is it really worth it? Because especially with trying to find something to eat, Literally, I feel like I cannot keep anything down, one end or the other, like I just can't. And so that food doesn't taste good, like I can't, the seasons, nothing just tastes right. I'm not talking about I'm craving like the sweet and the, the salty, it's not that. I just need simple things that I enjoy, even like vegetables. I just don't have a taste. And so, yeah, <laughs> you know, it's just, it's, it's, it's hard. And, mm -hmm. ah, and I hate feeling this way because I never want to feel like I'm bringing the down energy to anybody. Um, I'm taking vitamins, but I don't think they're multivitamins. You need to find a women's multivitamin, a good one, because that's going to help you with um, the other things that like you don't like your vegetables. Because your vitamins can get out of whack and you need to get back in whack. So, um, that's a big important thing. Make sure that you've got the right vitamins in it. It's like the supplements. You, know, you don't have to take like workout stuff, right. but just like you know, good women's vitamins. What you got, Josh? You got anything for us today? Just taking, taking the morning off, going with the flow? Uh, after yesterday's workout, the 100 pound medicine ball carry just it did me in all day yesterday. I wasn't feeling myself, uh, even when I was eating yesterday, I, I just never felt right. I got down another belt loop yesterday, and this morning I broke that uh, that 290 mark and I got down to two, uh, 289. So 15 pounds down is what's going on with me, but I, with the food not tasting right. The same old food, the same old vegetables, the same old chicken. It's just, it, it is getting old. It's getting bland. I gotta find a way to spice it up, change it up, or just maybe I just need to get me a cheat meal so I can get my body feeling right and go back to you know strict dieting again. I, I don't know. I just gotta, I gotta do something. So uh, it's, it's, you are noticing it, like it's I, just with with the food, yes, and the stress, getting up every single morning, you know. I, I woke up. This, I live right down the street. I live two miles away. I get up at 5:30 every single morning. This morning, 5:29, I'm laying there, wide awake, waiting for my alarm to go off. My body's getting used to it, but it's still miserable. It's still annoying. I don't want to. I, I don't want to get up. I get off. I work retail, so I get off at 9, 9:30 sometimes, 10 o'clock at the latest. And usually, I don't get in bed till 12 or 1, and I got to be back up at 5:30, back at the gym at 6 o'clock. So. The, the sleep deprivation is starting to get to me as well on, on that end. So that's, that is causing some stress as well. So, so I, can, I can relate to that. Let me wrap this up. So we're a month in, the rubber's hitting the road. It's getting a little challenging. Monday, we're gonna provide the actual food that they're gonna eat. So we're gonna eliminate some of the thinking in that process and kind of help everybody out with that. Um, we got 11 months to go after this week so uh, I'm excited about that I'm excited that uh, everybody's back here today hey Jim we uh, we miss you uh, your workouts coming today expect some fun stuff uh, that's gonna be all for today thanks for tuning in